Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, USB-C to Gigabit Ethernet Adapter Review. This is made by Insignia, and I got this at Best Buy in North Bay the other day for a whole whopping $24 in tax. Not bad, considering I was looking at these on Amazon for around the same kind of money. So, kind of like, why wait when you can get it right there? So, sometimes it's actually worth just picking something up at your local store and supporting them. Now, you do have to have a Type-C port, Mac or PC. Um, this particular PC doesn't even have Ethernet, period. And it's like, that really sucks. I mean, I can see taking out CD-ROMs, but Ethernet ports? Come on, really? Anyways, but we do have a Type-C port nonetheless. So, pretty simple device. Plug it in. Plug in your Ethernet cable. Of course, you do need an internet connection, don't forget. And then fire up our browser. It's pretty simple. It's not anything that you even really need instructions for, okay? But I will say this as a word to the wise. On older builds of Windows 10, we've experienced a lot of issues on Windows computers with Type-C ports. And this goes back a couple of years uh, when we received Type-C stuff from some sponsors. Rather, my wife did. And none of them would work on the Windows 10 computers in the house. Okay? Um, and we have Type-C ports, right? And nope, not going to happen. So we had to actually go to my father's house because he had a Mac computer, of course, um, with Type-C on it. And, of course, it was his brand new baby, too, so we had to be very careful with it. Anyways, he let us do the review there. You can check that out on my wife's channel, Susan Millard. Um, it was the A-Plum adapter, was the one of the adapters that we were doing. Um, and I believe she's got some other ones up there as well. But it took several build, different builds of Windows 10 later before we actually started to see these adapters actually working under Windows 10. Yet the Mac has been running them flawlessly since the adapters started first coming out on Type-C ports. So, anyways, Make sure your Windows operating system is up to date. Do not re rely either on automatic updates because it doesn't always work 100%, okay? So you have to manually check these things. Once a week would be good, once every two weeks. Check for new updates. If you have optional updates, also make sure those are installed as well. Um, it is a good idea, even though they are optional, do it anyways, because you never know what kind of hardware it's referring to. Um, sometimes it's an optional update just for maybe a third-party piece of hardware. Hello. Um, so make sure you always do your optional updates as well. Keep your OS up to date. And uh, you shouldn't have any problems. But, you know, if you do have problems with Type-C, maybe it's because your Windows 10 version that you're currently running isn't one of the newest builds or the newest up-to-date build. Um, but um, anyhow... Is it worth 25 bucks? Yeah, it actually looks like it's even built better than the one I was looking at on Amazon for 25 bucks. And I've been experimenting with Insignia stuff lately, and uh, especially with one of their USB to Lightning cables, and quite happy with the performance out of that thing. Works a lot better than the $4 jobbies from the dollar store. That was a rip. Um, but yeah, this is quite nice. So now I have yet another option for network gaming with my buddy. Um, going straight out raw Windows computer. Um, and I'm going to put it to the test as well to see how well we get for um, network speed exchanges um, playing network games on this thing. And uh, then at least I know I have a backup system so if something happens to my Mac or I need to do a reload or something on it, whatever, I'll have this as a backup secondary ready to go. I just have to move my saved files from the one game into the same game on this computer and I just click and go. So that's pretty much the only reason why I bought an Ethernet adapter for this thing was for that. Uh, otherwise I have really honestly no use for them. 
Um, but um, anyway, there you go. Um, star rating, four and a half out of five. Nothing's perfect, man. Really, it really isn't. Uh, there is plenty of cable length. It's only a couple of inches, which is fine. So you've got roughly about four inches here. Um, and that's that's more than you're you're gonna need to, to put your Ethernet cable through and you know pretty much is out of your way um, It's not an overly large sized headpiece on here, but it is quality built So again very impressive build quality on this device, too So I don't foresee any issues that uh, are going to arise. We know we have a green light here We have a flashing light here as it's checking the internet so and doing its thing so we know it's an active connection and that's fine we pull it out and of course the lights go out that's it it's that simple and easy thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more catch you on the next one